everyone deserves quality health care. A community health worker is a frontline worker. We fill in the gap where someone is not able to get in to get them the access that they need for services. Somebody that's from the community, of the community, and has those same life experiences from the patient population that you're trying to serve. We're on the phones, we're doing an assessment first just to find out what the needs are, and then we make sure that we connect them to the needs and then we follow the trail till it's completed. We don't give them the access and then drop them off. I know a lot of the community health worker work now um, is moving towards focusing on what social determinants of health. Those are the things that impact your health the most. And if there's not a balance between providing care of inside the medical wall with the care that's provided outside the medical wall, whether that be health literacy, navigating the healthcare system, teaching the patient how to read, nutrition, clothing, interpersonal violence, marrying the two, the medical world with the uh, environmental factors that's happening with a patient are the things that's gonna produce the best outcomes for a patient. The community health worker is someone who's in closest proximity to the needs and the concerns of communities that need access to health. And they serve as a liaison between the community and health systems. When you have a community health worker that beyond the 15 minute overall check-in that they do with the actual client, medical physicians, really can't go into what's going on in the home. But community health worker can then also inform that physician what else is going on inside the home that may be impacting that particular patient's life. And they can then follow up and reach out by recommendation of the family physician or any other physician of different interventions that can be done to support that particular patient when they're no longer in the clinic, they're no longer inside that actual meeting room with the actual physician. So it's an extension of each other. So our community health workers help us understand the environment that the patients are coming from. Most providers have not actually been trained to work in an interdisciplinary fashion for us to really be able to achieve um, the best outcomes or to help our patients and our communities achieve their, be their best health outcomes and hopefully their best health, we're gonna have to get outside of the clinic walls to address those social determinants of health. Trust matters a lot for when you're talking about community health workers um, because you're trying to get in to find out what seriously the root cause analysis is. I think trust starts with culture and everyone's background is different and how they were developed in their homes, how they were taught. I think culture is, is the key factor for the trust and history. History can repeat itself. I think as a community health worker, we can be a key role to change history, to change the dynamics of how culture perceive where we are now. When you personally help them connect to what they need, to even encourage them, just to say you can do it, we can do this together, I think that gives them life, that gives them a spark. The thing I love most about my job as a community health worker is the ability that I'm giving to disrupt barriers as it relates to getting resources and getting more quality health to the communities that I represent and the communities I serve. As a community health worker, professionally trained within actual public health, as well as 40-something years of lived experience in the community that I come from, those two levels of training gives me a unique capacity to sit in the presence of people who are making decisions about the health and well-being of our actual community and inform them and encourage them and even hold them accountable in trying to do better. That gives me a lot of comfort in being able to offer a voice to a population of people that have historically been voiceless. To find out more about community health workers, visit the DHHS website today.